Hello everyone, I am Argama Witch and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a very quick hairstyle in Vroid Studios. Uh, this time it's going to be ponytails and pigtails, so let's start off, shall we? Alright, um, so we're going to do a ponytail first, uh, and I'm going to do it on the side of the head, although you can pretty much have it wherever you want. Um, and we don't want a freehand group, we want... Procedural group. Okay. Uh, I like procedural groups at least. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull all of this out. You can mirror it if you want, but it doesn't really matter. Pull this away from the head and decide where you want the ponytail. Usually you'd want it in the back of the head. I. It doesn't matter for me. Uh, at least for this particular video. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the procedural group line. I'm going to scroll down here and we're going to pull intervals together, not all the way. And then down here you're going to see something that says flow, and that means it's going to pull the tips closer together. We're not going to go all the way yet. We're going to increase the tip curliness, which basically just means an offset, so it's going to kind of slowly pull down like that. And I also like to adjust like thicknesses so the hairs are not all the same size. Uh, we're going to adjust the position to where we want it. If you want it in the back, that's fine. If you want it on the side, we're going to do it on the side because it's going to lead into the next tutorial as well. Um, we're also going to adjust the X position to pull the tip pretty much out. And that brings us back up to the uh, hair parameters. You see this curve here? I want to pull that curve down a little bit so it's a point. And we're also going to want to thicken this up a little bit as well because this is supposed to be a poopy ponytail. And now we just take the uh, mesh and we just adjust it to the shape that we want this ponytail to be in. Like this. You know what, I actually don't want so many hairs, so I'm going to lower this down to about, let's say three hairs for now. I'm going to just like tuck it in as my side ponytail. I'm going to right click on procedural group and go clone. And now I'm going to pull it out, uh, the mesh and shorten it up a little bit. And I'm even going to lower the number of hairs we're working with. Lower the thickness and the width. Pull it up a little more. Adjusting the intervals to kind of how I want it to look. I don't want it so thick. Focus up a little bit more. That's oh, pretty good. I'm gonna go back to this other one and I'm gonna lower the thickness just a smidgen, just a little bit. Yeah. And then I'm gonna add um, another clone group, but from the procedural two. And this time I'm just gonna do one here. I'm going to get it right in the center of both of these. And curl it up. Make it a lot smaller. Just like that. And we'll make it a little less thick, a little less wide. Yeah, just like that. And that looks good. And that's pretty much our ponytail. If we want to move this, we can. All we have to do is like select uh, the group and then we can just change the X position, Y position. Oops. Um, you can also change the just regular position by where you want it here. If you want it in the back, if you want it on the side. 
but we're going to keep it on the side because now we're going to uh, turn this into a pigtail, which is very simple once you have the one. So what you're going to do is right click on uh, procedural glue one and do clone. And then you're going to right click on the new clone group, which is now group four, and you're going to do uh, convert to brush, right click again, and then flip, and then you have it on the opposite side. And you're going to do that for all three of these. So you're going to clone them, convert them to brush, and then you're going to go flip and flip. And now when you go to add bones to them, I recommend either keeping them each in their own group on the side, or if you want, you can kind of do each clump. So like I would create a bone group for this. I would select one of the hairs from there, usually the center one, and set as the axis. I want the fixed point as close to the scalp as possible. Five on this one. Bone group, fix one of the hairs, fix one back. Actually, we don't need the fix point so much back there on this one. Mm, right about there is good. And bone group for that last one. Right about there. Bone group. Actually, for this one, instead of doing it that way, let's show what it's like if you. Uh, do all of them together. Alright, so we're going to take the big hair in the center, so that's our axis, fix point all the way there, and do like a six point groups. So this has three different groups, this has one group, so we're going to see the difference when it moves. Oops. We're going to have you just walk right now. So you can see how like this all moves as one solid object, and this moves as like a bunch of different. When the hair head twists, you can see this moving as one solid object, and this clips a little bit, but they all move separately. So this is entirely however you want it to look like. But there you go, there is a simple tutorial on how to do uh, ponytails and uh, pigtails. I hope this has helped you out, and if it has, please give it a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, or any suggestions for future hairstyles. And I hope to see you later. Bye!